Okay, welcome back. It's Michael Todd. Thank you for joining me here on the Cult of Vintage. Today we are on day two of the antique ex excursion. Um, both Misty and I are here, all of our guests. Well, we're still waiting for one guest. Um, of course, we are hosting it here on the side of the way. So be sure to check that out. I'm going to try to do as much filming today as possible. Um, we already got breakfast served, so we're going to go downstairs and join everybody. There was no way that I was going to be able to film um, getting ready for breakfast. That was definitely a mad dash. So let's go down and check everybody out. Okay, here we go. Who's right there? So we are serving breakfast on the atrium here. Um, we have a breakfast braid that Kim is currently checking out. We've got yogurt cups and cinnamon buns and juices. Hi. Hi, Kim. Hi, How are you doing, Susie? Alani. Alani. Did you get your fork? I got a Is that sponsored? I wish. It's not. Check that. Everybody's. Eating breakfast. We're gonna head out here shortly oh, afterwards. Yummy. Do you like it? Yes. Okay, good. And it smells so good. Richard made it with his own little hands. I made the breakfast braid. No, I didn't. Richard said you guys were up at three o'clock. No. That's gorgeous. I, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Just a light breakfast. Just a light breakfast. Okay, so we have totally changed the basement. This just allows for more mingling. Yeah, we're not doing like a sit-down dinner. We are doing heavy hors d'oeuvres, which of course we will show. So, you know, Richard is... We just got back from the grocery store. He's down there playing a bartender. Um, go over here. This is where we'll have the food. Bob's playing cards. But just a, a lighter setup. We're going to probably move some things around. But clearly we only have one chafing dish. Um, we're doing disposables. Um, again, just kind of heavy hors d'oeuvres. And trust me, it will be heavy. I kind of pulled some stuff out of my room to set the mood. So, those bulbs work a lot better. Yeah. So, I can't wait to see it with all the food on it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, so here it is. It's all set up. We did something a little bit um, simpler this time, just so I think that it wasn't so like overwhelming to folks. But lots of watermelon, simple cheddars. We have a gouda. Of course, some fruits. Ooh, I do see some multigrain breads back there. The chicken skewers with teriyaki barbecue. We did a pasta, a broccoli. These are a local potato chip here. Um, and then we have the turkey and ham sliders, which we did. These are fantastic. So all of those, we do have the protein. So there it is. We're going to go get dressed and ready for the folks. It's quarter after five, 5.20. It's 5.38, uh-oh. We have 20 minutes. Dinner is at six. So here we go. Okay, so the party is in full swing. I had to run upstairs and get more cutlery. Look at the buttons Miss Stephanie Kite made. Hello, Richard. Everybody's downstairs. They're getting into the buffet. The food is amazing. I think I hear Misty giving out her t-shirt. So let's creep on them and surprise them. Here we go. Here we go. They're in here. She's giving out t-shirts. You can see she's got her pinky up. That's Michael. Everybody's chilling. Everything else is just kind of like getting we want food. A very strong, like a Rosie the Riveter, not a sexualized pinup. Yeah. I told her she should have made her boobies bigger, but she just <laughs> didn't, she wouldn't listen to me. Michael, do you, wait, wait, this is a 2X. Two 2X. Two Richard's still back here at the bar. Make sure I gave you an extra large. 
We'll get forks. Morning. It is day. Today is Saturday. I don't know what day of the event we're at right now. Um, we had a great night last night. There was just one little clip. It was a great party last night. We did a little bit of a clip. Um, I didn't want to show too much. I wanted to keep it special. And I wanted to be in the moment. Um, so it, it really was a fantastic evening. We are up. Breakfast is almost out. We are waiting for the caterer to arrive. Uh, so I'm going to go downstairs. We're going to chill and wait. Um, we've got about an hour, an hour and some minutes before we load up and head to the Urbana Flea Market. From there, we are going to go to lunch and then we are going to head up the Springfield Antique Mall. Um, we're going to tour the house that Richard is remodeling and I am going to do my very best to try to capture as much of it as possible. So let's get downstairs. She is. It's Miss Amy. She's in good taste. We're excited. Good morning. Look at that coffee cake. <gasps> Look at these are those mini quiches. Oh my goodness. Amy kills it every time. Every time. Susie, wait till you have this coffee cake. Look at her and that sayado. Aren't those soft? Oh my gosh. And lightweight. I know, I love right? This. I it's love perfect. This. I love this. I, um, would, would you let Richard know that I put on my bill? Okay, sure. Yeah, I didn't want sure. to think I would. No, you were fine. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> I just didn't bring warm enough clothes. They said it was going to be so exciting. Yes. Oh, it smells like a little bit of heaven in here. It's, you know, it's a really, I mean, we've got the mini quiches, the fruit. Richard's bringing down some more fruit, so it's the perfect breakfast. We've made it to the <laughs> Urbana Flea Market. We've dropped everybody off. Obviously, filming while driving is not good, but Richard and I are here. We are going to shop around, see what we can find. We will inevitably, I would think, inevitably bump into folks here. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Obviously with the flea market, shopping with 22 people could be a little overwhelming, so let's do it. Just found a whole bunch of milk glass. They're gonna do five a piece for us. So I've got these four pieces. Um, little vase. Mm, the sugar creamer. You see a comp I kind of see that footed one there. I don't know if you can see it. It's all the way to the left. Right there. Grab it. Check it for chips and cracks, sir. That one's giving me a Westmoreland vibe. It's just dirt, I think. Just dirt. I sure you don't see anything. Okay, let's get all of these pieces then. Right here, what is this? The Bugaloos, what is that? Marty Croft, of course it is. It kind of looks like witchy poo over here. Whoa! No, Bobo, -bo. $95. This girl is cute. Look at her. I'm Lindy. She's only eight bucks. Sugar and spice and everything nice. These look like Clemenson. Boy, girl. 16 for the pair. Not bad. Okay, we're going to do a quick voiceover because there was really loud music playing, but Richard did spot the Show and Hut piano. This is an exceptional piece. Now, this one more than likely is probably from Edwardian, early 1900s. It's a gorgeous example. The scale is phenomenal. I most certainly don't have one this epic. Now you did see that uh, fabric insert that more than likely was an original. Just checking it all out uh, condition wise. Um, ultimately we ended up getting the piece for 125. There is a key that is stuck. I was pointing out the gaps, but there's no missing notes on that one. Gonna wanna replace that fabric more than likely with like a punch tin. Think of like a uh, an old school radiator cover. 
got the foot pedals on it. You've got the carved cherubs with light gilding. This is an amazing find. There he goes with the piano. Good eye, mister. Where do you want to go? Um, do you want to just go into the buildings? Let's just... Do you want to do that building 13 and I'll come around there? I'll go into building... Be to get there quick. I don't know. These buildings are scaring me. There's a lot of... I just... I don't know. They're making me nervous. Okay, I gotta go take this... Okay, bye. I think most people are outside just before it starts getting to rain. We're gonna head down to our favorite lady down here though. See what she's got. Should do a show and tell. Look at this one. Should have had something. Oh, I'd like a mirror. Yeah, but it's still cute. It is. Oh, that's fabulous. I enjoyed your about your evolution. Oh, well, I totally feel you because having to shop is like a job. It's a, it is a job and it's hard because oh my gosh. And you miss a lot. You miss a lot. And I've really been trying to look for the small stuff. Yeah. I didn't feel like Talk to these recording. But that's. Well, you, but you know what? I'm recording saying, this because this is the experience. Okay. Right. And this is where I want to get back to. I right. just want to give right. people an experience and not just, I'm doing. buying this for resale. You know? Yeah. Like, it's. Yeah. I like to have fun with it too. Right. I want to yeah, have fun. Collector. Yeah. yeah. Like, we just got a giant Shown Hut piano. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Is this your stuff too? Yeah. This is my favorite. Oh, well, yes, I can see why. And if you need a price, I'll be winging it. I'll come over there. My favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Gosh darn it. See, as evident, I miss things when I'm filming. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, this is. Lots of stuff. Um, let's peruse around here. Let's see, I'm going to give Richard the umbrellas. So I don't, well, I free up my hands and I don't knock anything over because that would be disappointing. <laughs> Miss Diane is over here shopping the ephemera. Miss Diane is here. She's got, honestly, some of the most fabulous. Look at how pristine that advertising. What is this one? Grand your own coffee from Sweden. <gasps> yeah, we're taking it. I'm taking it. Post-mortem. Sold. Yes, ma'am. Oh, man, that looks like my relatives. <laughs> Not in the frame. Oh no, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. <gasps> oh, you've got more cupid prints. Oh, look at y'all. <gasps> He's eating his J E L L O. Oh, there's two of them. We're gonna get both. We're gonna get both. Some boobages on the beaches. She's fancy. Are you tired of me? Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Oh, it's cheap music. We're gonna take this, both of these. Ice capades, I'm, I'm gonna go for both, cool. yeah. Yeah, I'll do 15 for the pair. Okay. And I'll take uh, two bucks off the list, it'll be 22. Well, thank you, ma'am. Yeah? Making sure everybody was dehydrated. What is that? Who is she with that uh, giant? Is vinegar, vin uh, vinegar Valentine. Vinegar a Valentine. Oh, that's what they would send to the people they didn't like. Oh. Do oh. Don't be giddy. Be good, virtuous girl. And you will always find employment and retain your self-respect. 
There's another one. Okay. Here. So the vinegar trees. She's a. It's sending sour love. That's that passive aggressive. Oh, and these bright graphics. I got one of these before. Like the corners of my mind. Aren't they fabulous? This is where I don't know if you saw it. Richard got that um, German train one. Love that. Oh, look at the. These are vinegar. I love the ephemera. I liked that too. Isn't that darling? Mm -hmm. These are just fabulous. He is, and look at that shine. Oh, he's got a little um, RCA dog. Like, whoop! <laughs> that is precious. Okay, it's busy out here at the Urbana Flea Market. It's nice to see so many vendors. It's kind of overcast, but it's not ungodly. There's Mark Pate. Ah. Yeah. I'm going to go down this way. Um, okay. Be right back. So we do have a lot of this is contemporary, um, introductory. Oh, look at the VW. Mm -hmm. It's missing a wheel. Oh, I think it's rather inexpensive. It was a puzzle, wasn't it? It looks it. Yeah, it's like foam or cardboard. Oh, look at the little dogs. He's got a broken foot. Shout out to good man. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. There's Emmeline and her daughter. Great we can't daughter. show kids on YouTube. Oh, no. There's Gerald, yeah, Emmeline's yeah. husband. And this absolutely beautiful Wealth by Wayside or Secrets of Success. It's fully illustrated. And look at that gilding. Only $10. We do see this stunning collection of green and gold. Look at that. This is two. This is a separate. And that is a third. Carrollton. I love that. Illustrated. So on the volumes, is that the, are we priced yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. So can I have 30? It's all green and gold though. That's the problem. It's the same publisher, just different, different series. Do we need that many? Can we just stick with that? So we'll leave these, we'll take these. So we're at 30 for all of those then. 30 for this guy. Okay, we'll take those. I'm gonna go in here because I'm a rule breaker on this side. <sighs> I need air. We've got lots of Fenton. Um, it's clearly a collection. We've been here before, so prices are they're collector prices Let's see what else we can find here this is a beautiful booth pretty thing we've got embroidery it's so humid I'm sweating right now so we'll see what we can find guys these are fabulous Krabby look at her there's PJ, Sensational. It looks like they have 55 on her. And the can. Oh, okay. I haven't got a case of dogs, but I was raining. I didn't bring them out. Oh. 
I mean, if you're interested, I can show them to you. They're handy. Oh, look at all the kiddos. Yeah, yeah. My case fell apart, so I had to put them in a bag. <laughs> Who is that? That's Honey West. She's like a James Bond girl. Oh. And, um, yeah. Former, clearly, former James Bond girl. <laughs> but, um, um, How much do you have on PJ? 55. 55. I can do better. On her? Susie said. Okay. Much, yeah. I can do about 50 on her. Okay. On her, yeah. mm. The little lockets. Mm. You know, someone with a knockoff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Have to get me some more cases. Mm -hmm. This one here got soaked too. Uh, mm. What other ones did you? Mm. Mm -mm. And that. Oh, look at the little pop-up boutique. Yeah, Dawn has um dolls in it, and then there's a Mary makeup in there, and a skipper okay. in there with some clothes. But... Okay. Oh, it's Cecil. Wooden case with the dolls. And I got some vintage Barbie outfits on the end. Oh, he's great. Yeah, I think he cranks a little bit, but... Not not no, entirely. Not. Now he won't even do that. Uh, he's being temperamental. Out. I know, it makes a liar out uh -huh. of There he goes. I heard something. <laughs> Maybe, kind of, sort of. Uh, he's struggling. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bring my baskets out because of the weather. But... Okay, so... All Barbie. Oh, you got mm. sensational Barbie or Mallet. That's <laughs> sensational. Um, the sun. I call her Sun Tan. I don't know. Is it sensational? So, <laughs> well, they like sensational Sun Tan. Yeah. Julia. Is she Francis. a Unita? Yeah, she's a. Yeah, I think there's a U on the back of her head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You need a Barbie, see. <laughs> Midge and the Francie, and this might be the flare hair, whatever you call the, uh -huh. the head. That... Technically, the first <laughs> black Barbie. Oops. She was a nurse. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Okay. I can do better. I mean, back out again. You see any? I appreciate that. Offer. Filming wasn't the easiest there, the second half of the uh, flea market, so. We are here at the Meadows. We're all gonna head inside and have lunch. And then we're gonna head to the Springfield Antique Mall. So we'll kind of check it out in there. It's a local place, large group of people. We did, of course, make a reservation. Everybody headed inside. This is good food, I'm telling you. If you're in the area, definitely stop in here and check them out. They're reasonably priced, too. Thank you so much, that's fine. Look at that, the gentleman. Not only is he a purse holder, he's a door holder. <laughs> Everybody's getting their spots. Everybody's getting your, your spots. Look at him. There we are. We're all getting in. The antique mall. Flash, for, flash forward. Okay, so we had a great time at the restaurant. We are definitely full. We didn't do an out or an intro here at the Springfield Antique Mall because it's pouring down rain. So we made it inside. They have till six. Yeah. Three thirty. Okay. What time is it? Three thirty exactly. Okay. So plenty. plenty of time. The checkout process <laughs> is going to be real fun. Yeah. This candle. Oh, he's going to make me guess. It very much. Oof. Is it even old? Whoa, look at how serious. Oh, it's super heavy. Is it really? Yes. 400? No. Five. Nope. 12. Are you for real? <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Do we get the candles too? Seriously. Eighty-five dollars. No, I'm okay. You would not believe this. <laughs> this is at least fifty pounds. I got this. I no, believe. Okay. I want you to feel it. Okay. Yeah. He had me scared. I was <laughs> knee locked and ever. 
We got we that. Got nope. Or, what is this? Elbow locked. We got it. That's amazing. There you have it. Our video. The antique excursion. I didn't capture as much as maybe I as I could have. It's always difficult. I think one because I don't do it all of the time um, to vlog. And a lot of that I think has to do with being present in the moment and not being like, oh, I need to film this. Um, you know, when you film it, you kind of take yourself out of that moment and it was a wonderful experience it was a great group of people um and above and beyond misty and i being present there were definitely moments consistently where i saw those individuals who came to this excursion but i think really left with having new formed friendships um, everyone got along well there were a lot there was a lot of laughter so that was a huge plus uh, for the excursion. Richard, do you want to say anything? He doesn't want to say anything. <laughs> um, so again, check out the website right down here, sayadoin.com. You can check for upcoming events. We, of course, do have our October one where we have one room left. Um, I kind of already put the bug in Steve's ear that we might want to expand that. <laughs> Had a great time. At the flea market definitely getting that shown hot piano was an exceptional score so happy about that uh, we got some other great stuff I think for sale I think I've sold it already if I'm remembering correctly <laughs> um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video we really appreciate it and as always until next time remember keep it rusty crusty and dusty bye guys <laughs>